Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on six STEM schools that the government is going to build. These are six schools that are going to be built from the ground up. Now the first is going to be in St. Catherine and we're actually driving through Portmore today and you can see how developed and built up Portmore is. So Portmore, they didn't say exactly where in St. Catherine. Actually, it's the first one is going to be in Portmore in St. Catherine. And you can see those buildings over there are call center buildings, IBX, major call center player. So Portmore is definitely changing. It's becoming a very developed area, very modern. I think the only place in Jamaica that's growing faster than Portmore is probably... Draxall. Alright, so we're going to go through an article that gives more information on the STEM schools. The government is progressing with plans to construct six science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM schools and one science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics STEAM academy. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Security, Honorable Dr. Horace Chang, says arrangements to build a STEAM school being cited in Montego Bay are proceeding. The land is acquired and the budget is in place for, from the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. By the end of the year, the Ministry of Education and Youth can give a time frame on it, he stated. Regarding construction of the STEM schools, Dr. Chang advised that we will be opening the first one in Portmore St. Catherine very soon. He was speaking during the University of Technology, UTEC, Western Campus, recent STEM summer camp launch at the institution's campus in Montego Bay, St. James. The camp being held in Western Jamaica for the first time will see some 100 youth from communities in Hanover, Trelawney, and St. James engaging in several STEM-related activities. For his part, Montego Bay Chamber of Commerce and Industry President Oral Heaven said Jamaica has been declared a STEM island, adding that the camp serves as testament to the country's growing prominence in the global STEM landscape. This designation opens the door for so many things through multinational STEM investments and real money for our people. Positioning in Jamaica as a hub of innovation and technology, technological advancement, he outlined government progressive. Dr. Chang pointed out that there is a legacy of STEM activity in the West, noting that the government is committed to expanding opportunities in the sector. It is imperative, therefore, that we attract some of these investments to Montego Bay, adding that we must focus on the positives and potential solutions that STEM can offer. The STEM summer camp will be held in two phases for junior and senior participants under the theme Think, collaborate, and innovate to grow and be resilient. Alright guys, that's the end of the update article. So the first STEM school will be in Portmore, St. Catherine. We will keep you guys updated and as soon as we get more information, we will let you know. Alright guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. Have a good day.
Yeah.